Do you want to get more people into your cafe at no extra cost? Stick around and watch this video to find out how. Hey guys, welcome back to Artistic Coffee Roasters YouTube channel. Today my video is about how to really capitalize on some of the advertising opportunities that are out there that aren't going to cost you money and they're going to help you build your brand and build your business. And the main areas I want you to think about and to do this might seem pretty straightforward. You might already have these kind of accounts set up, but it's kind of knowing what kind of value they bring to your business, I guess what, what kind of content you should be producing for those, for those platforms. And I guess making also sure that you're uh, putting your efforts into the right places for the results that you want to get. The four main spaces that we believe are the most valuable uh, to make sure that you've got that initial online presence would be your Google business listing, your TripAdvisor or any relevant apps to your area, your Facebook page and your Instagram page. Make sure your content is up to scratch, it's good representation of your brand, be active in that space posting three times a week change up your content, look at what other people are doing, look at what other people are getting engagement from, and you can replicate that kind of content in the early days to get some traction, and then you'll find your feet and you'll start to see what people are engaging with. Look at the stats, they're really uh, key to finding out what people uh, are enjoying about your content. And that's the goal, is to feed them something that, that they love to see every day and they, they'll like that, they'll interact with that, and that will help you build your online presence making more searchable and therefore bring you back to making more money from sales from a whole different market you really weren't tapping into before. Now, the first thing I do and I have this conversation with a lot of business owners when they come to me and they, they're kind of asking for advice on where they should invest their time uh, and, and maybe thinking about investing their money, but there's a lot of free platforms out there for you to tap into. Uh, I always say the best thing to do to find where you sit in your community around being found is to simply Google yourself. Google your business name, Google your area, Google coffee in coffee near me, and that will give you an indication of kind of where you sit, how your online presence is, and where the competitors are. You'll instantly find things like, uh, in Australia we've got TripAdvisor, uh, and places like Bean Hunter. Maintaining these accounts can actually be a really great source of advertising for you where you're not having to put any initial uh, outlay and cost, but you're potentially getting in front of an audience that's already looking in those spaces. Um, these are tourism people. If you're purely relying on word of mouth, you're really not capitalizing on all the opportunities for coffee sales that you could be. If you haven't claimed your TripAdvisor business or if you're not existent on there, you're going to you're just not going to get in front of the people that are actually using that as their go-to place. If they're not local, they might just Google coffee and that might be the first listing. If you haven't claimed it, if you've had people review you, potentially post photos, your profile picture could be a photo that isn't a good representation of your brand. Update your menu, update the photos, have the right contact details on there and give people the ability to find out more about you in a way that you can control that environment. And that's essentially what you're doing across all of these platforms, is just controlling that environment online and making sure people aren't finding things that you don't think are a true reflection of you. If you leave that up to other people, they'll probably make a mess of it for you. Obviously, we've got our social media channels, the main ones being Facebook and Instagram. Which one should I use first? Why am I using these platforms? First and foremost, you definitely should be using them. It's a place that people are, and that's really where this comes back to, is your customers are there, they're, they're on there every single day. So if you're not there, you're not getting in front of them every single day. Facebook, first off, is a great space to build a community. It's a lot more connected than, say, Instagram or even TripAdvisor, where you've got an account, but this is a space that you can control where people are having those conversations you can respond to comments and you can interact with people on a much more personal level. So I would say having a Facebook account is crucial. If you wanted to up your game and have a bit more presence as a brand, that's where Instagram comes into account. Now Instagram is a platform for brand building. It's a place to really portray your cafe and this is where the baristas 
a great value to every business owner. And if you're a business owner, capitalize on the young people you've work, got working for you behind a coffee machine. Ask them to take a photo of, of a nice coffee when they pour a you know, good latte art. Um, and if you're a barista and you're good at this, if you can do good latte art. If you can take nice photos, maybe you should approach your employer and see if they'll let you manage your Instagram account. It's pretty normal for cafes to not have a website and to not be uh, spending a lot of time creating new content, whether it be blogs or all that space. As much value as that could be to their cafe, at the end of the day, you're probably working your ass off buying the counter, making coffees and making money like the rest of us. So you might not have the time to do that, but doing these things in your Google listing across the different apps through your Facebook, Instagram and other relevant apps to your area and where your audience is really going to to find that information, you can actually improve your rankings in Google. That's what we're looking for is those opportunities to advertise without the costs. So if you're not sure how much time do you have to invest in these places, we suggest it's good to be posting three times a week at least if you can. That's manageable, especially if you're able to get more of your team on board. If you have a better a bank of photos, that's helpful. There's some great online apps. If you're active uh, from home outside of work hours, you can look at these apps where you can schedule posts. And that means that you don't have to be on your phone during work uh, when you're getting smashed. You can be taking photos uh, in the time that suits you. Get those photos up consistently through the week so you can stay relevant in people's news feeds. You know about this stuff. Do you want to add anything? Oh, there's so much. I know. I'm trying to like. Go I'm into, but under. it's basically initially just saying. Guys, these four spaces are free. You've got to capitalize on these opportunities where you can get that free advertising and get more people into your cafe. So by doing these things, you're going to keep yourself at the forefront of your customers' minds, making sure that when they think about getting a coffee, they're thinking about coming to you and your cafe. If you're interested in growing your business at no extra cost and finding out more about coffee in the industry, make sure you subscribe to our channel, put comments below, like this video and be sure to hit the bell so you can find out about new videos that we're posting all the time.